Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Wanted to get on here today with a video about, okay, this is kind of two categories. It's my perfect touch-up makeup, and these are also things I do not leave the house without. These are the things that are in my makeup bag. If I go on, you know, a, a day trip, I'm taking this stuff. If I'm going anywhere, this stuff is going with me. It's also the stuff I keep in my desk to touch up. I do my videos at my desk, and right before I hit record, I usually do a touch-up. And these are the things that layer well over existing makeup. They brighten my face, they bring me back to life, and I love these things. So I'm gonna jump right into this, and the first one is some tools. I do not ever leave the house without a puff. These I get really cheap on Amazon, and they just blend my makeup perfectly. A lot of times if I get in the car or I'll sit here, I'll like turn on my camera and I'm like, I did not blend. This blends like nobody's business. Our grandmothers had the right idea. I just run it over my face and it blends everything together perfectly. The next thing is a cheeky size beauty blender. It's like a little, looks like a baby, but when it's wet, it gets to about mid-size. And I carry this in my purse, I keep it here in my bathroom, for concealers, of course. So, but I love this. I've not found a less expensive one I like as much. So I always carry that with me. And then a brush that's really good to carry. Okay, I'll tell y'all, I have two for you. And the one that is my favorite, I just realized I have not seen in a while. I've been carrying this e.l.f. This is a pointed powder brush. And I like it because it's sleek enough, it's sleek enough for a little, you know, a little bag for my purse. And it's the perfect size for either blush or powder. I don't put both in here. My other one that is really my favorite, and it's probably just in a purse around here, and that is by Bare Minerals. And I'll put a picture of it right here. That is my favorite. I love the way it feels. I love the size of it. It's perfect to fit in a little bag or, you know, just anywhere. I love that brush. Okay, next, I always carry a sharpener in my purse. And I've started keeping multiples of this one too. This is the Urban Decay, what's it called? Grindhouse. This is my favorite sharpener because it does any kind of pencil beautifully. And it's got the little cover um, that doesn't come off very often and get your purse messy. Um, and I keep this for my lip liners, my eyeliners. When I don't, I regret it. So I always carry that and keep multiples. Okay, the first thing when I think about touch-ups is going to be powder. I'm always wanting to blur and mattify. And I have two favorite powders. And I take one or the other when I'm going. I either grab the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Finish because it does give a flawless finish. And I love it, and I will keep repurchasing this because it doesn't really add a layer of cover, but it gives a beautiful, flawless finish. Love this. Um, and it feels a little bit lighter than this next one. This is the MAC Studio Fix, the, the Studio Fix. And this is a powder foundation that I carry everywhere I go. This is really my go-to right now. And I like it because it does give a little bit of extra cover. It also blurs, it perfects. This is my go-to during the day. And I carry this just about every time I leave the house. It's one of these two. More often than not now, it's the MAC. But I wanted to put this in because I also love this. It's just, you know, if I already have a good face of makeup on, I will pick this up. And it just adds a little more blur, a little more perfection. Both of those are beautiful. Okay, next. The next thing I'm always, I'm picking up in the middle of the day is going to be a concealer. I'm going to say my number one right now is the NARS in the Pot. This covers beautifully. It layers beautifully over other makeup. It is pretty perfect. If I could only have one, it might should be this one. I think this is exclusive to Sephora, and it is beautiful. This is a brand new one. I have another one in my empties over here. I always keep this, and I don't leave the house without this. 
this is always in my purse. And when I'm sitting here at my desk, a lot of times I'm going to my purse to grab it. I will seek it out. This is beautiful. It's a good full cover. It's creamy. Doesn't disturb existing makeup. I love that concealer. Yes. Oh, and I put it on with a Morphe M506, I believe. 504. This is the M504. This is perfect for this NARS in the pot. It's the perfect um, thickness and density. And I just bounce this in here and then bounce it on. <laughs> I can't help it. I'm gonna have to put a little on. And it, it's just beautiful, y'all. It is beautiful. And I've gotten to where I keep a couple of these now because when I don't, I'm, you know, running around looking for it in my purse. Okay, next, a blush. And I, you know, any color you want that kind of livens up your face in the middle of the day, and I have one, never fails. It brightens my face and makes me look fresher like nothing else. And that's wow. the Milani Luminoso. It looks a little darker this time. I just replaced it, and this looks a little bit darker than my past ones, but I'm gonna show you a little of this. I really barely have to tap this because... It's very pigmented. And this adds a little bit of a luminosity and a little bit of a color in my face. It just really brings my face back to life. And I love this. Okay, a couple of eyeliners. Now this may seem like overkill, but when I did not keep eyeliners with me, I regretted it because I always want them when I don't have them with me. Okay, and the first one is this e.l.f. Intense Ink Eyeliner. This one's almost empty. This is my second one. I have a third on the way. I don't know what it is about this, but there is no need for me to ever spend more on an eyeliner. This always does perfect. And I touched up right before I hit record with it. And it always takes my eye look to the next level in my opinion. It is a perfect line every time. It's felt tip, so I can stay real steady with it. I can go real thin by pressing light or kind of lay it kind of more on its side and go thicker on the outer edge. It's a perfect wing every time, and I love this, and it's not very expensive. You know, it's e.l.f., so I love that intense ink. And then underneath, for this line down here, I carry the Prestige in black brown. Just to have to sharpen it, old fashioned eyeliner. And again, that may seem like overkill to carry these, but I, when I don't, I want them. And you know, they don't take up much space. So I carry these two eyeliners. Okay, then I carry, y'all, this is a big one. For my eyelid, I always carry a Milk Jumbo Stick because this is what I lighten my eyelid with. This one's tired looking, y'all, but I carry this because that gives my whole face the biggest lift. When I do this, it brightens my eyelid, it freshens my eye look, and then I blend it out with a Morphe M504, and that's the perfect size to blend this on my eyelid or for an eyeshadow that I'm gonna talk about to blend, you know, put more eyeshadow on, transition, crease. This might be my perfect brush, if I can only have one. It does it all. And this is plenty for my purse. It's not very expensive, so I can lose these. I have quite a few of these around my house, and I love it. But to brighten my eyelid brightens my whole face. It does, every time. And then a little eyeshadow palette. Again, may seem like overkill, but when I don't, I wish I did. Because when I get away from my mirror, I haven't always done a perfect job on my eyeshadow. <laughs> More often than not, through the day, it needs something. So I love this MAC Semi Sweet Times 9, and I think they still sell it. That's my perfect. I like this better than the little Visi Arts, but those are good. If you like those, those are a good size. Huda has some travels. This one. This one is the one I always come back to. I love it. It just, you know, if you want something quick, which I do when I'm out, it's, I could even get stuck overnight somewhere. And, you know, I've got my transition. I've got creases. I've got, this has it all. This has it all. Even an eyeliner over here. So 
This is my little eyeshadow obsession. I love carrying that with me. Okay, next, a highlighter. And more often than not, this is a touch up and not a carry it with me because my Milani Luminoso will add a little shimmer and I'm usually not getting that ready that I'm gonna do a highlighter, but I do touch up with this all the time and it's always a perfect touch up. Okay, over here I have one, this is really tired. I have another one in my bathroom. This was a bronzer um, and this is the highlighter. They have this in a travel size, I probably will get. I'll probably get the travel size, you know, to um, when this runs out so I can have it over here and have one in my bathroom. It's always a perfect touch up. Every time it adds so much glow and good health to my face. And I should put this in my purse, I'm going to. This is going in my purse. Okay, next, um, a mascara. I carry my Essence Sculpted Volume with me. It layers perfectly over what's already there. All mascaras probably do, but I love this because it's so cheap. It's all I use, but it's so cheap. I have about six of those around my house and I never leave without it. Okay, next, a perfume that I carry with me because this is good no matter where I'm going. If I'm gonna be, you know, in a waiting room or I'm gonna be out showing or going to church, you know, you're in close proximity, but I want a little something to take with me. I take the Seven Virtues Vanilla Woods. I think it's called Vanilla Woods. Yes, Vanilla Woods. I love this alone. I love it over just about every fragrance I own because all of mine are sweet. And this is a rollerball. This is a perfect, rich, vanilla, non-offensive, can be subtle, or you can, you know, do like I am, get a little heavy-handed with it. But it's, it's hard to get heavy-handed with it because it is so warm and sweet and not cloying, beautiful to layer, beautiful alone. It's just a really nice fragrance to have around. Okay, and then the last thing are lipsticks. And I'll just tell you, I try to carry... When I'm carrying one, I usually go a shade darker so I can avoid using a lip liner. And my perfect nudes that I can just kind of slap on and go are the Beige Mirage by Lancome. That one. Oh, hold on. Let me put it on my hand. That. Beige Mirage by Lancome. That is one of my favorites. A new revived love. I love this so much, and it's my 90s obsession, and that is L'Oreal Ferris Nude. And it's very close to the Beige Mirage. I'm gonna put it right by it. It's that one. No, it's not that close. It's a little bit darker. That's a little bit um, peachier. This is a little more mauvier. A little mauvier. Huh, okay. Well, I've been using them interchangeably, <laughs> but I love them. I love them both. So I'm going to put a little bit of this one on. Yeah. That is just the perfect slap it on and run into the grocery store or showing houses, whatever I'm doing. I can just put these on and not have to worry about a lip liner. They're just a perfect kind of a mid-range, mid-tone nude. Then the Beatrice from Natasha Denona. If I'm going cooler, oh, I love this. It's a little pinkier. It's actually kind of close to the fairest nude. This was good for me. But a little um, dustier rose, kind of a dusty rose. And this is perfect when I have something cool on. So love these. These are perfect nudes to carry. Also sometimes MAC Honey Love that's very close to Ferris Nude. Okay, and then I have one light shade that I carry with me all the time right now, and it is the Lawless Platinum. If I wanna be a little extra, and I don't mind putting on my liner, I'm carrying the Pat McGrath in, I think this is nude. I'll put the color on the screen. It's that. And it is just, if I wear it with a warm, it turns warm, and if I wear it with a cool, it will pull cool. So I love this. I love this liner. I always carry that. Lately, that's what I'm carrying anyway. And then the Lawless Platinum. And it's this. 
and it's real light and it makes me look like I have just done fresh makeup at my house. Oh, it's so beautiful. So love the platinum. I'm going to put a little of this on over this. It kind of lightens whatever I have on. Yeah, that's beautiful. So apparently it's a beautiful layering lipstick as well. Okay, and then the last thing, y'all, I have carried this since the 80s. And it's my stick concealer by Maybelline. And I use this to lighten my lipsticks because a lot of times, if I am just slapping on one of these lipsticks, I will think, that's a little dark. And so I will put a little of this right in the center and just lighten up the center of my lips. And I love it, I can't go anywhere without it. This would also be good for the lid. I used to use this for the lid before I found my jumbo stick. So anyway, those are all of my loves that I carry with me, I touch up, they're great to layer, and they're just great all around products. So anyway, y'all definitely down below, let me know anything I need to pick up for my purse, good layering products. And that's all I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Leave comments and questions down below and I'll talk to y'all soon. Y'all have a good day. Bye.